This tutorial describes how to start and set up Brillions on a new workstation. The Brillions application is hosted on a network drive. Like many VA applications, the link to start Brillions is located on the CPRS tools menu. The location of Brillions link may vary depending on your VAMC. The link may be in the tools menu itself or on a submenu. If you have any difficulty, the Brillions users, the informatics staff, or your Brillion's point of contact can point you in the right direction. To start Brillion's, click on the CPRS Tools menu link. Depending on the network speed, it may take a few seconds before the splash screen shows up. At startup, Brillion's loads a large number of configuration files. It shows the progress as it loads those files. What if you click on the link and nothing happens? It can mean one of the two things. One, the user does not have the proper privileges. Please contact the Brillion's point of contact or the informatics staff for help. Two, the Windows is unable to find the Brillion's app. If you were able to log in previously, please restart the workstation, which may fix this issue. If this does not work, please contact your Brillion's point of contact or IT help desk. After loading the configuration files, Brillion's displays the login screen. Please take a moment to read the legal notice. Filling the e-signature box, just above the login button, is optional. Click on the large login button. The login process works exactly the same as the CPRS login. Like CPRS, Brillions prompts you to log in with the PIV card. If the PIV login fails, it shows the screen to log in with, access code, and verify code. When you successfully log in, Brillions automatically loads the last patient you had in CPRS. Depending on the network speed and the volume of the clinical data to load, this may take from 30 to 60 seconds. The patients with multiple chronic problems have lots of clinical data to review. In such cases, Brillions may load more than a thousand pages of data, which may take more than a minute to load and process. Please note that Brillion supports the single sign-on feature. Therefore, if you are already logged into CPRS or other Vista applications, Brillion directly logs in without asking for the login credentials. This is not an error or a security violation. If you are logging in for the very first time, Brillion shows a form and requires you to create your personal user profile. This is needed only once. You do not have to do this on every workstation. All the required entries on the form are marked by an asterisk. Even if a required entry is not relevant to you, please do not leave it blank. Enter an A. For example, the NPI field and the state license field are not relevant to the non-prescriber staff. A common error on this form is that the first name and the last name do not match the first and last names in the VA email. If the entries do not match, you will get a message when trying to save the data. Please fill out the form using the best information you have. This may not be the exact information you may want. If desired, you can edit this information later on. When finished with the data entry, click on the Save button on the bottom panel. If there is any missing data, you will get an informational message. Otherwise, please click on the Done button to close the User Profile form. To edit entries on this form at a later date, the user can reopen at any time using the My Settings menu on the main form. It is recommended to start the Brillions app before you start CPRS. For this, we need a desktop link because we do not have the CPRS running. Brillions provides an easy way to create a desktop link for such use. On the main forms file menu, look near the bottom. Click on the create desktop link menu choice. You get a confirmation message. That's it. 
Now, you have a green icon on the desktop. There are two things to remember. One, you have to do this step on every workstation you use. Two, sometimes, Windows deletes desktop icons. In such a case, start Brilliance from the CPRS Tools menu and create the desktop icon as discussed just now. Per VA Information Security Policy, all apps, which display sensitive patient data, are required to log out and clear the patient data after a period of user inactivity. For example, when CPRS times out, it simply shuts down to protect patient data. In contrast to CPRS, when Brilliance logs out, it clears all the patient data, but it does not shut down. With the app already running, the user can quickly log back in by using one of the two methods. One, the easiest way to log back in is by clicking on the login button shown on a small panel over the main form. This panel is displayed only if the user is logged off. Two, the user can log back in by clicking on the file menu and then clicking on the login menu choice. Both these options display the login screen with the large login button. To log in, click on Login button and follow the steps, as explained before. Once you are logged in, Brilliance automatically loads the last patient you had in the Vista system. It is recommended that you do not, yes, do not, shut down Brilliance at the end of the workday. This way, next morning, you can simply log in without having to start Brilliance. Unrelated to Brilliance, to keep Windows healthy and happy, please restart the workstations twice a week. Please note that the log off and log back in is not the same as restarting Windows. If you have two or more monitors, please keep CPRS on your primary monitor. For most users, this is the monitor on their left side. After logging in, please drag really ons over to your second monitor. This way, both the apps are visible and can be used simultaneously. Of course, this is a matter of personal preference. Please use the setup, which works the best for you. By default, when not in use, Brilliance shows helpful slides, like a screensaver. These slides are designed to inform the users about many helpful features in Brilliance. Please take a look at the options on the Mindful Relaxation button on the bottom panel of the main form. The images may be shown automatically after a period of user inactivity. This is how the screen savers work. To hide the images and return to work, move the mouse pointer near the edges of the image. If the images were displayed by clicking on the Mindful Relaxation button, then use the Close Album button in the right lower corner of the image. Use the checkbox below the Close Album button to enable or disable the automatic display of the images during the current session. During the normal use in clinical settings, when the user selects a different patient in CPRS, Brilliance automatically loads that patient in the background. However, before loading the patient, Brilliance gives you the option to cancel by pressing the Ctrl F8 keys. If you take no action within a few seconds, the currently selected patient in CPRS is loaded in Brilliance. Note that Brilliance is not dependent on CPRS in any way. You can run Brilliance without opening CPRS. To directly select a patient, click on the New button in the left upper corner of the main form. This opens the Patient Selection form which looks similar to the CPRS form. Here is a unique feature, which most CPRS users find very useful. 
Brilliance automatically remembers every patient you recently loaded in CPRS. Needless to say, for this feature to work, Brilliance must be running so that it can monitor the patients who are loaded in CPRS. To display the list of the recently loaded patients, click on the Recent button. This button is located just below the New button, in the left upper corner of the main form. The button click opens a form which shows the list of your recent patients. Using the buttons on the bottom panel of this form, the user can open the selected patient in CPRS or Brilliance. This was a very basic introduction. Please experiment and explore many beneficial features in Brilliance. By doing so, you can not do any harm to the patient's medical record, because Brilliance does not enter any data into the medical record without your explicit knowledge and confirmation.